Hello and welcome to the class of drive test. So today in this class we are going to discuss about LTE drive test parameters. So we have very first parameter and this parameter is RSRP. RSRP stands for reference signal received power. RSRP stands for reference signal received power. So if we talk about RSRP parameters, so this is equal to reference signal received, reference signal intensity minus 10 multiplied by logarithm value of minus log of 12 into n. This is a formula. Now where n depends upon or n is the total number of resource block. n is number of resource block across RSSI is measured and it totally depends upon bandwidth. As we know that more the bandwidth we have, more the number of resource block we have. That means this RSRP is a parameter which is the most important parameter for drive test and it is used in both idle and also it is uh, used in connected mode. So RSRP is basically a parameter which is used in both idle and connected mode and it is basically to find out what is the signal intensity of according to the number of resource block and number of resource block depends upon total number of bandwidth. Similar to this we have RSRQ. Reference signal received power. Now this received power this is equal to that means RSRQ is directly proportional to RSRP and this is on RSSI divided by N. That means more the RSRP we have more the RSRQ we will receive. That means what is the quality of the signal that we are receiving. This is second parameter for drive test. Next we have RSSI. Now this is basically wideband power including intercell power and interference and noise. That means this is a complete combination of all the power and this is indication of signal intensity. Or I can say that this is an indication of signal quality which is a combination of that means it is a combination of intracell power intracell power plus interference plus noise. What is the power we are getting? What is the interference and how much noise we are receiving in this? And its value ranges from minus 3 to minus 19.5 dB. If we talk about RSRP value, so RSRP value it ranges from minus 44 to minus 140 dB. This is value for RSRP and this is for RSS IP I get power. Next we have next parameter first one RSRP, RSRQ, RSSI. SINR. SINR stands for signal to interference noise ratio which is signal upon interference plus noise that we are receiving. Where S is the average received signal power. So this is received signal power. I is the average interference power and noise bar and stands for noise bar. Now SINR basically tell us the quality of the connection as signal faded with distance. Quality, it tell us quality of connection 
as signal faded with distance as it starts fading with the distance so we will have like this power interference and etc things that we have in this case s i n r now we have uh, like parameters for call drops so these are the some lt drive test parameters which we require to check out whenever we are performing our test that means r double s i r double s i then RSRP, RSRQ, SINR. Now we have CQL. CQL stands for Channel Quality Index. It having a value from 1 to 15. CQL has a value from 1 to 15. Now high value will represent good condition. High value that means you are in a good condition cqi with the 15 good condition and it is uh, cqi is measured in dedicated mode only it is measured in dedicated mode only now next we have pci pci stands for physical cell identity this physical cell identity is basically having a value from 0 to 503. So, if we talk about total number of PCI that we are having, we have total number of 504 PCIs available. So, that's why 0 to 503 is the range of the PCI. Now, PCI like it is having P double S S plus 3 multiplied by A triple S. Primary synchronization, this is great. PSS having a value 0, 1 and 2, whereas SSS having a value from 0 to 167. That means total 168 values for triple S. So this is CQI and PCI. Next we have parameter which is BLER. BLER stands for block error rate BLER as block error rate that means total number of error blocks out of the total number of complete blocks so this should be less than 10 percent block error rate should be less than 10 percent other than this we have a parameter for downlink throughput and we have uplink throughput so these are LT drive test parameter which we record which we require to record whenever we are performing drive test. Thank you so much.